absolutely wrong. Like oh, you're just okay, wrong. So I look at the statistics the all day long. He right, look at it all hey, go, day. Go, go ahead and look. Uh, if y'all, uh, JR, go ahead and pull up the FNF um, stat sheet that he they look have. look at it all day. No, yeah. Oh, no, what that mean? Y'all, y'all need a, what that mean? What that mean? Wait, wait. He look at it all day. Free? Yeah, because I read statistics. I have a podcast that where I teach about these type of things. So if I want to have a good podcast, I need to know my facts. I need to have all the statistics ready. I can prove any of the stuff that I'm showing to y'all. And y'all can disagree as much as y'all want. But the biggest thing that matters is, is do y'all want a relationship? Do you even want a no. relationship? <laughs> Yeah. No. I, do. I want a man. I you do? Okay. Do you want a relationship? <laughs> Everyone wants a relationship. Do you want a relationship? Yeah. Do you even want a relationship? I'm good. Yeah, I'm just okay. So if you want a relationship, <laughs> does it matter what the man wants? It matters what both wants. No, no, no. Yes. I'm asking you a direct question. Does it matter yes, what the man wants? It matters what my man wants. Okay. So here's the thing. Y'all are all single. Y'all are all single. So obviously, if you're single, you you're not. So, hey, don't read the chat. Don't, don't read, read the, the chat. chat. That's why we told y'all don't not read to do the it. Chat. Bring her on here because she got a lot to say. No, but what I'm saying, though, is that, or now I'm throwing off. I can't even remember. But uh, no, we'll just go to the next question. Then. Um, I, I, I got a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What's but, up, Donnie? Or let Donnie go real quick. What's yeah, up, Donnie? She can go ahead and I'll go right after. But I feel like the dudes, they'll tell you, like, if I nut in you, you my bitch. So I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's one ghetto like, ass dude. Like, yeah, what the fuck? No, like, like, when you get I've on Instagram, Instagram, you'll even see it. Like, it's not even a question. If I'm nutting you or if you nutting me, don't you can't tell me how to react to how you acting. So, like, dudes, they do that, too. They be like, oh, I just don't know. I mean, I don't know. Dude, I don't guys, do let, let me make something straight to at this table. Though. I think guys are more pathetic than than anybody today guys aren't shit today they will finesse y'all out the box all day long and not ever give you a relationship and you can't do anything about it because y'all don't y'all don't control the relationships so so like the thing is you can sit here and like be mad about how certain guys are acting but it's always who you're choosing and the reality is most women are choosing really shit guys today and that's just the fact or guys who think they alpha male da 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 you know that alpha beta type shit Cause that's really where it come from. I mean, if they're that's fucking, if, if they're from. if they're fucking six, seven girls a week, and those girls just keep coming back, yeah, that dude's a fucking alpha. Like y'all, yeah, like that. But a player. yeah, yeah, and there's tons of guys that are doing that. But whose saying, fault is that? Away. It's no, it's not the guy's fault. He's literally. It's, it's not. He's it's lying not, though. You hear this? He's you not gonna tell you thinking like most of these misogynistic men. Like, hell yeah! Wait, so oh, what is misogynistic? Oh, yeah. So, well, I want to know what is misogynistic. You. What's the definition? First off, don't ask me no definition when I ain't got no dictionary in front of me. Go well, well I mean, you hey, use you the word the stats, and you don't. Okay, so you I'm use tell the word and you think. don't even know what it means. I'm gonna tell you what I think it means. <laughs> sure. So if I ain't 100 percent accurate, don't get on my ass. Secondly, I think you think you is here and women is here. So that's where the misogynistic definition so gonna so, start. So, so, so that's women. so that's what you think misogynistic means. Is that a guy superior to a woman? Because you you like you sexualize women. You think women is this? You like it's like a object. women sexualize themselves and like the and, and culture sexualizes Ooh. it. It's not, it has nothing it has nothing to do with me doing it. And here's the thing: you don't even know what misogynistic means. Misogynistic means you hate women. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I have four sisters. I have two mothers. I have nothing but friends that are girls. I don't even have. I have a group of guy friends now that are guys, but I've actually only had women as my friends for most of my I don't life. Think it's Hold on one second. Name. I'm still talking. So here's the Ooh. deal. Yeah. So here's Ooh. the deal, though. So you can call me misogynistic, but I have a daughter. I have all these things that show I care much, a lot about women. I support tons of women in my life, financially and everything. I have a beautiful girlfriend over there, and it's not because I'm a misogynist. It's obviously because I do something correct. So, but here's the deal. You can say that that guys are misogynistic because of what I'm saying, but I don't even believe that. I believe in something called complementarianism. Do you know what that is? No. Complementarianism is the opposite of egalitarianism. So egalitarianism is saying everything's equal. Basically, like y'all would be dating guys that are 50-50 with you and everything. Obviously, y'all don't want that. Okay. Y'all actually Obvious. want Yes, because most women want superior. You want somebody that's taller, stronger, faster. Most women want superior. Take, you want oh, because I'm gonna meet a man. I'm going to meet a man that's the same as me. A man's supposed to be, meet the same circumstances as a woman? Here, hold on. I didn't say that at all. I said that you want a mm -hmm. superior. That's all I'm saying is that you want a superior. No. Okay. You, okay. So, okay. So, okay. No, that's, no, that, that, no, that, you know, that, I, that's fine. You can be an exception to the rule that y'all don't, that you don't want a superior. But I have, once again, I've interviewed tons of women. Most women want a guy that's taller, faster, stronger than them. Why would that's we want just a, a fact. midget? You, you don't. You don't want that. No, I mean, I'm good with the fifty-fifty. <laughs> if you can bring what I bring to the table, I'm cool with it. Okay, that. that's fine. You're an exception to the rule. She's an exception to the rule. Would you like a leader? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all straight like this. 
my stepdad into the mic for us, please. Okay, there you sorry. go. No, you're good. My stepdad, he passed last year. He did everything. He was resourceful. He did everything for us. Me, my mom, my sister. He passed. Got in the streets because I was single. Try to figure out like who gonna who gonna take my stepdad place. Mm -hmm. It's been hard to find that. You know, in being an attractive woman. You're going to attract so many different men. Mm -hmm. You're going to attract them. They're going to look good. Mm -hmm. But they're going to see what you're missing. And they'll pretend to be it. And they'll try to be it. But yeah. you got, it's who you choose that's going to be the right one. Yeah, y'all get finessed all day long. Like, y'all got to understand, guys lie all day long for bucks. Like, they're always going to lie. Like, guys will say whatever they need to say to be able to get the pussy. Like, that's what they all do. It's not it's not rocket so, science. It's just what they all do. It's the fact. Until I find a man that is similar to my stepfather or my brothers or my homeboys that I, if I don't have to call them no more to change my tire, to help me move, to do certain things for me as a woman, I'm so but I want I want to go back to the complementarian things really quick. So what that is is what it means is that I don't think that I'm superior to my girl. Complementarianism says that I'm good at certain things, my girl is good at certain things. That's it. I don't think I'm superior to her. I'm a 51% because only one person drives the car. So say we got to make a decision on something like that. I'm the 51%. I'm going to usually make the final call unless it's something that's her area of expertise. Okay, so, so that's, but so yeah. And that's what most guys who are into this, uh, are into this type of content and stuff like that. They're not misogynistic. They just believe in guys are really good at certain things and women are really good at certain things. And if you want to have a good team, that's what you need to work together. And the, and nobody's a good team today, okay? Nobody's good. Me and my girl are very fucking rare. I call us unicorns because most people could never do what we do. And But the, but I'm very successful. I own multiple businesses. Well, I make very good money. And I would have never got to this if it wasn't for her being a compliment to my life. I would say congratulations okay. yeah. on somebody balancing you out because that's what it sounds like. Well, I, well, I just want people to understand, though, it's not something easy to find. A lot of girls would say that she's that she's uh, that that she shouldn't be cooking and that she shouldn't be doing these things because a lot of people think that that's like that's like wrong today. But you know, what's so wrong just with depends. her cooking for you? And doing those things for you, and that's your woman. I'm just saying, some people would say that that's not good. I don't think it's yeah. not good, especially depending on the type of dynamic y'all bring in the household. Yeah, you know what I'm I mean, saying? but so it's kind of like y'all bring, like I said, like I just want somebody they can. In this day and time, I want somebody that can at least do what I can do for them. You can do it for me. Mm -hmm. If we can't help each other, if we can't, like, if you can't teach me things and I can't teach you things, you're not the guy for me. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah. I don't feel like we're so much in the oh, God takes care of the household era no more. You know, we done kind of grew up out of it because the guys these days they they buy you one little thing and they oh this this and that. I don't. I'm I'm just stubborn. I don't like being told what to do because I'm a grown woman. I know how to get out here and get it, and I know I'm not I gonna will piss say you off. Your teeth is hella white. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing, like, 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 like you said, like, we grew out of that, but, but, like, yeah. we didn't grow out of it. What happened was they devalued, they, they devalued the dollar so much that women had to go into the workplace. Right. And so, like, when they devalued the dollar and they made it to where we can barely even fucking pay for one house with two mm -hmm. people now, like, and that's why all this stress and everything, everything that's going on today, it's all because of the dollar being devalued. Right. If it wasn't for People and like men are immediately emasculated the second they can't pay for something for you. Like the right. second that you and, and it can be anything that's just a problem solver. Like the AC's out. We need we need a we need to be able to buy a three thousand dollar AC, whatever it is. And you're immediately emasculated as a man if you can't solve that issue. And like you said, you like to go 50-50, but statistics show mm -hmm. women want a guy that makes fifty-eight percent more than them. So that means that if a woman makes hundred K a year, she usually wants a guy who makes 150k a year. Right. I don't have no roommate. And, Hmm? I don't want no roommate. You don't, yeah, or, or you don't want to be a build a Bob the Builder. You don't no. want to build them. I mean, no. I was grew up in a house. I was raised by always single woman. So I'm. I got the mindset that a, of a nigga single came. woman. Yeah, right. so, I pay my own bills. Right. Yeah. Like, if you come into this, you just extra. Just I'm extra. Doing this by myself. Like, but, but this is also why. Like th this is me. also a why though. This is only an issue in the minority community though. If you look at dating right now, if you look at how hard everything is, it's only the minorities that are getting destroyed. If you, like upper middle and upper class are doing great. It's just lo mid, uh, uh, lower middle and lower are getting destroyed by all this sexual marketplace shit. It's, okay. it's horrible. Um, so now I just want 